Howdy folks and welcome back to another Ugly Dog Lures Challenge. Tonight we're going to be doing the Tim Challenge. Uh, three to five colors which I have chosen for yellow, white and some shades of brown. We got a sunny yellow, which is a folk art. We got a coffee latte, folk art. We got a honey brown, which is a deco art paint, and a red or a Georgia clay, which is a deco art paint. And he wants me to make a lure that looks like cinnamon French toast. So that's boogie. So I appreciate you sending in the challenge, and I'm going to be doing it on a 2.5 square bill. So let's just jump in there feet first shall we <clears throat> so I think we're going to start this paint with our sunny yellow and then we're going to go from there we're going to wrap this bait we're going to do all kinds of fun things to this here particular bait going to leave uh, some white on him going to have some yellow on him gonna have some browns on him so let's just make it happen it's actually a beautiful day here in New Mexico it's hot today I'm sitting in here with a coat on okay we got our Yellow are all mixed up, so let's just start putting it on there, shall we? Let's just come right up the center on both sides. We'll heat set that and throw a little bit more on it. <clears throat> That's the uniqueness about doing baits like this, is there's really not a pattern to them, you just go at it. There we go, there's our yellow put on. So we'll clean our brush and uh, move on to our next color. That's a drying up pretty good there. So I think we'll put the crust on next. Be like your crust lighter dark. That's our next option here. So the next color we're gonna go to is coffee latte and get it to cooperate with me there we go. a little bit of the good stuff in there Mix it up good. Got hair a bit more thinner than that. A little bit heavy. So now we're going to put our crust on our cinnamon toast. <clears throat> Should we crush the bottom too? Mm. Or do you like it cut off? I like the crust cut off. Okay. And we're just going to crust the top, is what the boss says. Well, do whatever you think. I'm interested well, I think to see needs, what you come up with. I think it needs both sides. Myself, but, you know. So let's throw us a little bit, another coat on it. Oh, 
Okay. There we go. There's our crusty cinnamon toast. Just going our brush and we'll move on to the next color while that's a drying a little bit and we'll throw a little bit of a heat set on it. Move along. <clears throat> so the next color that I'm going to go with is going to be uh, this uh, Georgia clay. And that's going to be our cinnamon. Then we're going to come back over it, the rest of it with a pretty light, light color tan. So we're just going to take that Georgia clay and just start working it into there. And then we're going to come back over it with another color. I may ghost this whole lure of white. Who knows? I don't think anybody knows what I'm going to do next. I've tried to figure it out for years and hadn't gotten it figured out yet. Clay. That's our cinnamon right there. About three drops of that in there. Get it mixed up. cinnamon on there. What's next? Next we're going to clean this brush and dry it up real good. Then we're going to wrap it. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not much of a fool that way. I'm not much of a what? A foodie. You're not a foodie? No. That's a fib. No, no more. You're like the ultimate foodie. I'm just old. You said ultimate. You said old. I did not. I, said I heard ultimate. you. You said old. You're deaf. Huh? <laughs> well, let's heat set this. Grab me some white because I'm going to put some white in here too. Down there for the white and the egg, you know. No egg. It's cooked into the bread. What kind of French toast are you cooking here? Real French toast. Not this fake American crap. Please. I don't want much white in it, but I want a little bit of white. Maybe about that much. Just let me create. You watch. You got that? Well, it's hard to just sit here and watch when you're doing it wrong. <laughs> These are certainly not your traditional. You see, I mixed it into it with the brown stick. Now you got icy. French toast doesn't have ice. Mine does. It's syrup. Now I'm hungry for French toast. Dang it, Tim. What are you thinking? I just want a couple of little white spots in there, here and there. And all I'm after. Okay, let's see. Heat set that. And go to our last color. Can you tell me what our last color is going to be, Melissa? 
What colors have I used so far in this bag? Everything with those tan. This tan? The honey tan. That's actually the back. Well, then I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> Boy, you need to start paying better attention. <laughs> Come on. Talk with me. I told you what I thought it was. Yeah, well, you're wrong. The only one we haven't used is the latte. Mm. And, uh, Keep it up and I'm going to pull out my sign. You got a sign? Yep. What's your sign say? It's right there underneath your cat. So, I don't need Google. My wife knows everything. No. That sign? Oh. The white one. Oh, the new one. Well, folks, this is a new one on me. Now, let's figure out what we're going to do next, folks. Make that cinnamon come out in that thing. Mm. I may have to lighten this just a little bit. Ooh, that's ugly. Blow that hunk right out of there, didn't it? at it when I get it mixed here and see. Just barely dripping out of there, folks. I'm just going to kind of slightly go over that. Just like that right there. Just Kind of give it a little bit of a different shade. That's all I'm trying to do. So I want one of you to send my wife in a challenge. Say y'all want to see her do a challenge. No. Yeah. No, that's alright. I think she needs to do a challenge. What do y'all think? I'll do it for Valentine's Day. I agree to that. So we're doing another giveaway for Valentine. Uh -huh. Awesome. Actually, we're almost at 200 subscribers. We have another giveaway at 200. Yeah. I think we got 10 more to go, don't we? We're yeah. at 190 something. Last I checked. So I don't know, folks. French toast did the best that I could do with it. Well, let's just kind of see what we got when we pull our wrap off. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. Kind of different on both sides. You know, you can see the white 
You can see the yellow. So there you go, buddy. French toast. It's like amazing. It's French toast by Redneck. Epoxy can make it all shiny. Yeah, Redneck style French toast. If anybody has a recipe for that, let me know. That's kind of cool. So he didn't request no certain color of eyes, did he? I don't believe so either, so let's just look through here and see what we got that we can put on this bait. Something edible. Well, I think those would look good on that bait right there. So. Well, I really appreciate you sending me the challenge, and it's been real fun to paint this. Uh, something different that I had never done before, first attempt. I'm enjoying these challenges like this. Uh, I really am. Be glad I didn't paint that because I'd burn everything and it'd be all Boy, that ain't no joke. That stuff would be black. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't know what a French toast would look like. They say opposites attract and they're right. Because, I man, you couldn't find nobody more opposite than me and my wife. I mean, I'm a pretty much a trained chef, and she's can't burn water hardly. Domestically challenged. Yeah, she's domestically challenged. <laughs> uh, but I enjoy the kitchen a lot, so I spend most a lot of time in the kitchen myself. But she loves computers. I hate computers. I think they're the root of all evil. I think technology has ruined the world and ruined the morals of people in this world. And I'd be lost without it. But she'd be lost without it. Yeah, see that eye is just perfect for that bait, Melissa. See there? Yeah. Well, like I said, opposites attract. I'd like rather be doing other things. Sitting around on the computer. Okay, so there we go. We got some eyes on that bait for that young fella. Mr. Tim. So, off to the next part of this journey. This is a 2.5 bill, so I'll be using a 1.5 and 1.5. Well, let's go ahead and get her whooped up here. So this is our resin that we're putting in now. And it'll take it a minute to run down. I'm sorry folks, it's just, it just does. In the summertime it works a little bit better, but in the wintertime it just seems to slow down. Now, which one did I just put in there? The resin. Oh, you was paying attention. I don't pay attention. I like you. <laughs> oh, there she is. Now we're going to put some buttercup in this one. Just to give it a little bit of a kick. Come here, Bob. Thank you, Bob. You're a good fish, Bob. Get a good old mix here. I like to mix my epoxy really, really well. It'll start kind of getting a milky color when it's mixed good. So you can see that milky color in it. It's not clear anymore. So there we go. See that long hair? 
That's not mine. You need to quit having your boyfriends in my shop while I'm not here. Oh, fine. If you say so. But it's more fun. I'll take that out. <laughs> you can leave it in there. I don't think so. It probably is more fun than the one out over there at night. That's a cool bait. I really like that. I seen that paper and I thought, oh lord. That's going to be fun. And you know what? It turned out to be fun. You can see the yellow and the white in the egg, and you can see the cinnamon in it. You can see the dark crust on it. Well, that turned out pretty, pretty slick. I really kind of enjoyed that paint. Very nice. There you go, buddy. French toast. Redneck style. Ugly dog style. So I hope you enjoyed our video, folks. Uh, we're going to hook this bait up over here to dry. And uh, we'll be back and show you what we got when it's all good and dry. Y'all have a blessed day. And I'll catch you later. Folks, she did it again. She got me a sign for my for my table here. You see what it says across there? It says Mr. Wright. This just ain't right at all. And then you turn it over and it says Miss Always Right. I just can't win for losing, folks. I guess that's just the American way. So all you guys out there that have a wife that thinks the same way, drop a comment below and tell me what to do. She told me the other day, oh, you're right. I had to go out and cry under the tree for about three hours before I realized I was really right. <laughs> so you folks have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.